What's up, Noochbots? My name is Matt, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Machines. And for today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your very own redstone track selector. Um, this thing is pretty good for just any sort of selecting purposes. You click a button, and then whatever torch is powered off is the one that is currently selected. So this one out here would be the output. Um, you can make this pretty, you, you can easily hook this up to just an inverter, just like this. And like that would be the output. Same with this. It's like, uh, oh, well, that's the thing. You got to get a little bit creative with your redstone. Uh, so stuff like this, you know, like um, over down here, you have to put it like down here and then just put that there. That would be your output. Say that I would have selected that track. Suddenly we have an output. Sweet, because this one is turned off by that. And uh, this is a pretty simple, it takes a little bit of redstone, but it, uh, it doesn't use any pistons, doesn't use anything like that. It's pretty silent. Uh, it's pretty sweet, actually. Um, I'm going to build it for you guys over here. Basically, you guys start off with your your base. What basically that does, um, actually, I'm going to lift it up a bit. I'm going to lift that up one, just so I ha don't have to go underneath everything. So this is your base. This is what resets everything. And then you have to put down repeaters and they need to be either to two or one switch depending on which sides you do it on and then you have to put down red, uh, little blocks here and then torches on top and basically what's going to happen is when you hit a button up here it keeps whatever one is attributed to this hold on let me let me see whatever one's connected whoops Hold on. Yeah. Whatever's connected to this one, to the one you put down, is going to keep this torch powered, which is up here. It's going to keep that one powered, or at least turned off, long enough for this one to turn it back off again. So, basically what it looks like is keeps this one powered, and then this is the only one that turns back on because all the other ones are turned off because it's uh, it's not powered anymore because this torch is going to be sending a signal to this next output which is over here and they need to they need to um, they basically need to to what is it called um uh, they need to be they need to differentiate in where they're and what the output looks like so from repeaters to do, to just redstone dust because otherwise you're gonna have like a whole bunch of nonsense where it's cross the cross pollinating is not it's, got, it's not good you know you don't wanna you don't wanna mess that up so uh, basically all this stuff gets powered whoops <laughs> I don't know my own strength this stuff powers here and this block is either going to be powered by a redstone repeater or a piece of dust so like this. So either a repeater here or a dust here. And then these also differentiate by either a redstone torch here or blocks up here. Just because you don't want, like I said, you don't want it to cross. And uh, from here on out, it's pretty easy. You just have to feed it back into this block right here because whatever is being powered by this all of the other ones are going to turn off except for the one that you keep powered by the button so just click all that there and the the thing is you need because of the new redstone you actually need to change these uh, these timings it used to be where they are all the same but now each one needs to be a little bit different just a teensy tiny bit different and uh, I'm gonna need to get the timings right on this one uh, basically this goes here and then here so that it connects with this redstone and then it powers that repeater but this one you don't need it because it's already powering that whoop I slipped and that should be it hold on I gotta I gotta check the, check the timings on it yeah okay this should work um trial and error also let's get this going yeah I see it's flashing now it's not the uh, there's a timer that's wrong give me a sec so that's good. That's okay. These need to be three. Yeah, these each need to be three. Okay. 
So let's try that again. There you go. There's your output. Click this one too. Does the exact same thing. And this one works as well. As well as this one. And that's just going to give you different outputs. You can output it from either the top here or from the out, from outside here. That should make uh, like efficiency in terms of where like in terms of crossing like each of the redstone, it should make it a lot easier. Because here you can easily just like do stuff like this. But like up here it would be even easier to do something like this. So you just you just change each one of them differently. The output would be down here and the output would be up here for the different ones. So let's click this one. There's your output. You click this one, and there's your output. Pretty easy. Pretty simple to do. And uh, it's really, really good for like selecting like tracks on like um, a rail cart system or something. Really, really efficient. But it also could be like uh, like say that you want to set like a whole bunch of hoppers set up with a bunch of I don't know like chests, and then you just want to pick which one you want. Like oh, I want this one. I want this one. And uh, then you can just like press like an output button somewhere, and then it turns them all. It unlocks all the ones that you want. Or something. I don't know. Like you guys get creative with your redstone. Just do whatever you want. This is just a really, really good way of selecting it. So uh, yeah, basically a little little tutorial for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like the video because I really like this series and it's kind of sick. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Peace.